Okay, so we're going to quickly draft a mandarin collar. So here I have my straight line. This tool I'm using is a pattern master. So I'm going to mark in my back neck. This is my center back, which is the back of my neck. My back neck measurement is 11.2 centimeters. So that's my shoulder line. And then I need to have my front neck measurement, including the stand. So I'm going to have a button stand. So I need to include that extension. Now my front neck is 10.5 centimeters and my button stand is three centimeters wide so half of that is 1.5 onto the center front which is a total of 12 centimeters so that's my 12 centimeters Okay, we're then going to go up 1.5 centimeters, squaring up. So I don't know if I've explained squaring up to you, but that's when you're taking a 90 degree angle. So I'm using this line, and it's continuing line, along the original plotted line. So I find my front section, which is the 12 centimeter point. And now I'm going to square a line up. You see? And we go like that because it's a square line. Now I'm going to measure 1.5 centimeters up here. And this is the point at which I will curve my mandarin collar. From here, can you see that meeting? So it's a slight gentle curve. Hmm. Yeah, the light's a bit rubbish. I'll try and do it left handed. Ooh, it's going to be ski. Can you see that? And that's my curved line. Now I need to think about the width of my mandarin collar, and I want mine to be 3 centimetres, no, 3.5 centimetres, beg your pardon, I want it to be quite deep. So I start at my centre back, and I measure up, so this is the bit at the back of my neck, and I want 3.5 centimetres, so I'm going to pop a mark there on the zero. And again, I want to square across, so I'm first of all going to give myself room to square, can you see that? Okay, and then again 3.5 and we'll take it from the shoulder notch too. centimeters and again I'm just going to mark the notch in at the top it's not really needed on the top of the collar but so that I know what I'm doing um, I hope it's making sense to you okay so then I obviously want to carry on the 3.5 for the rest of the collar so I'm going to mark in from my curved line here 3.5 up and again here, 3.5 up, 
So I'm marking on the zero, and here is my 3.5 measurement. 3.5 up, 3.5 up, and I'm just going to join that line with my pattern master. So we can see, yeah, that looks like a nice line. Okay. Now I obviously want it to be quite curved, so first of all I'm going to find this point and I'm going to square across because that's the section where I'll be joining onto the shirt. So we want a nice squared line. And that there is a square. And then this section, this is going to be my curve. Okay. Now, typically on a mandarin collar, although I want mine to be quite wide, it does usually come in and become a little bit narrower. So I'm going to measure mine at, hmm, do I want it? Maybe three centimeters. And that's just going to be a nice place for me to curve. Maybe I don't need it so much. Can you see that? Maybe I'm just going to have it before. I think it might just be easier. So there's my nice curve. I'm going to go over it again. And this is the collar that's going to be on the Jude shirt, which is a unisex um, relaxed shirt, relaxed fit shirt that you could double up as a pyjama top to go with the pyjama bottoms that will be coming out shortly. The only thing left to do is mark in my centre front, because as you'll remember, I've got a button stand. So this says front neck plus stand. And that's because you would wrap over, if my button stand is coming down, you'll want to wrap this over the button stand for the finishing, and then there'd be a button here at the front. So I'm just going to mark in my centre front, and that was 1.5 centimetres from the edge. So that's from this line. 1.5. 1.5. I could use these lines that go across the grade lines, but unfortunately they're not very accurate. So, and then I'm just going to do a nice simple and always, always, always mark down on your pattern for different places so that you know. So this is my centre front. We know that this is my shoulder. Shoulder notch. And we know that this over here is my centre back. Okay, the last thing to do, you can see that, that is a mandarin collar pattern. The last thing to do is to add seam allowance. Now, as it is a collar, we don't need to add a massive amount. We'll be cutting it on the fold, so the back doesn't need, the back neck doesn't need anything. We'll just pop a little. Sorry, the camera's jigging around. I'm kind of holding it in front of me, but not doing a very good job. So this is a simple foot cut on fold. And then I'm going to add a 0.5 centimeter, which is five millimeters purely because we don't need anything more on a collar. We want to be able to turn it through, bag it out, and have it beautifully finished with no bulk. And then we want 
the actual neckline section, I will add one centimeter just because the neck of the shirt is one centimeter and I like to have continuity as much as possible. I can always trim it down afterwards if need be, but I'd rather start with a centimeter. And that, my friends, is a mandarin collar pattern. This is the Jude, which is a shirt. And this is mandarin collar. This is the size, we've yet to determine the base size. Cut to self. There we go. Okay, see you later.